So Jake's been working on this dummy for his armor, and I walk in this morning and absolutely flip out because there's just a guy hitting right there in the corner looking at me. He's got a gas mask and claws and helmet and freak me out. The vlog. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I don't have a new project video out ready to be out yet, obviously. So what are we doing today? Well, um, basically the shop has been a complete wreck. So we're working on cleaning that up. We've been doing that the last few days and I'm gonna continue doing that. Got a ton of like organization. Gosh, this sounds super boring. I made a list. I made a list of the stuff we had to do today. Um, okay, so intro. Yeah, I'm working on that right now. Uh, gosh, this does look really boring. Ooh, and then we're gonna make a uh, armor stand for our apocalypse armor, which I know so many of you are waiting impatiently for. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. I would come up with some good excuses for why I haven't posted another armor building video, but I honestly don't have any good excuses, so. We're gonna make us an armor stand out of PVC, cause I need a place to store this armor. Right now it's just sitting there. I've gotta figure out what to do with this because it's been in my room hanging on the wall. I don't know why there's trash in here. This I have no place for. This whole shop setup I've got going here for YouTube actually works really well. It's pretty sweet. The main complaint I have is I don't have places to put materials and stuff. This is kind of hard. Hang on, I'm gonna get a tripod. <laughs> I'm humming my own intro song. That's hilarious. Like, where am I supposed to put all of my armor-making metal materials? Or other materials right there. Where am I supposed to put this stuff? I've got nowhere to put it. Like, you know, the storage areas are kind of all taken up. I have a forge that I need to figure out a place to put because I don't want it outside in the rain. And I've got a target and all of this metal. So much stuff needs organized, it's terrible. Becoming increasingly harder to find a spot for everything. As you can tell, my wall is getting really, really crowded. So, I needed a place to put my new flamethrower gauntlet, and it's such an awkward shape and it's heavy that there's no way to like screw it to the wall. So, I went and built this shelf real quick. I'm gonna mount that right about here somewhere. Put the level in here. No, Not there. What I do with that? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh. Rearrange the shelves. We finally have room for that thing where it's easily accessible. When you're putting up a heavy sort of object like this with screws, and it needs to be level. It's usually easiest to put the screws in the wood first, basically get them started. That way, you don't have to hold them. It's a lot easier to do it that way. You want it about that height? Hold it in place somehow. Man, where's sunshine when I need him, right? Yeah, there's a the stud, okay. Sweet. Something like that. That works, I suppose. Now to hang this up, we're gonna need to build some sort of gun rack.
All right, well, that's drying. We're gonna go to the store because we need to get all the materials to build the armor stand dummy, as well as getting a bunch of plastic bins and stuff for more organizing of all my junk. red light ever. Oh, there we go. And we've arrived at the land of enchantment. Stop raining, please. Oh, 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 oh. That's a wonderful sound. I've gotten everything now except for the PVC pipe for the uh, uh, armor stand mannequin deal. Surely I'm not the only person who's terrified of all the helpful people at Ace Hardware. You walk in the door and there's just a row of them all staring you down like, can I help you sir? Can I help you? Me of course being the prideful and introverted person that I am say no of course not I can find it on my own so then I'll spend the next hour walking around playing hide-and-seek with the employees there because I can't find it on my own but I don't want them to know that because then they'd know that I know that I can't find it on my own and it turns into a weird sort of game Ace Hardware only had one inch PVC in these tiny little sections, so that's not quite ideal, but fortunately I already have like a 10 foot section of one inch PVC, so hopefully what with the longer one 10 foot section I have and the five of these shorter ones, I can make something work. <laughs> Now I have no idea where I'm going to be putting the bin, but hey, at least it's all in a bin. I can finally put in a snap. Haha! -ha. Cool! All right, we got us some lovely organized wood storage, which is awesome. I'm putting up another shelf over here. Not a clue what I'm gonna put on it yet, but more shelving space. This one looks about the right size. I don't actually have another piece of wood wide enough, so I'm gonna have to build another shelf wide enough. Because we smart like that. Oh, look at that. We know what we're doing. Boom. Bada bang.
All right, y'all. Look at this shop. It is beautiful. The worktop, clean. I've got spot over here for my lights and my tripod. This wood storage, oh my goodness. We've got metal storage over there and the miter saw and the table is clean and this table is clean and that horizontal surface is also miraculously clean. We've got storage up there. We've got storage over here. I've got wood storage. I've got PVC. I've got ammo. It feels so good. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, materials we're gonna need to build this armor stand. A whole bunch of one inch diameter PVC pipe. Duct tape. Gonna need a big piece of wood of some sort for the base of the stand. Gonna need a foam head. And a whole bunch of pool noodle or pipe insulation foam and other miscellaneous foam for filling it out and padding it out so it's not just a PVC skeleton. That should be all, so let's get started. Uh, nope, that's not all. I forgot all of the fittings. You're going to need two cross piece fittings, four, uh, well, uh oh, I have more than four. How do I do that? Two crosses, four elbows, and four T's. Start by getting some measurements of myself. Now I have all the information I need to figure out what size the actual PVC pieces should be. And obviously I would recommend you not copy mine, but actually go measure yourself. That way it's a copy of you, not me. Got a couple arms. Okay, now two leg pieces at 40 inches each. Put the feet on. These are just some cutoff pieces I had. Look at that. Size is about right. So we actually don't need this middle piece and I'm running out of PVC so I'm not going to put that in. I need to screw this whole thing together because it's falling apart. I could glue it together with like PVC cement, but, it's, but that stuff is nasty and I don't feel like it. This feels a bit wrong. <laughs> Oh goodness, that is hilarious. These are hands. We're gonna go in here. Now as you can see, I went ahead and bent the uh, arms a little bit with the heat gun. So now they sort of sit in a more natural way than they did before. Man, this thing's gonna be creepy when it's finished. All right, now we can work on putting some flesh on his bones. So I've used up all my foam, and to fill out the chest, I'm using the bottles that I have. Okay. You now look objectively 100 times cooler. Oh, he's gorgeous. I am one proud papa. You need a name. Comment down below what his name should be, and I will pick the name that I like, which probably won't be any of the names you suggest. This guy's gonna scare
scare the pants off of somebody when they walk in here with the lights off. It's gonna be hilarious. As always, get off your behind, get off YouTube, go out into the world and be creative. Use your mind to make something awesome. And I will see you next time on Jake Makes when we actually make something cool. Sorry, buddy. Jake out.